Hello and welcome back to our class. Again, this is Teacher Odenti Guzman. In this tutorial video, we will discuss solving problems involving quadratic equations. The concept of quadratic equation is illustrated in many real-life situations. So if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to receive notifications about my new videos. Let's have our example number one. A rectangular garden has an area of 84 square meters and a perimeter of 38 meters. Find its length and width. From this problem, we want to find out what is being asked in the problem. So, we want to find out the dimensions of the garden. Specifically, we want to find out the length and the width of the garden. So, we will represent let L is equal to length and the W is equal to the width. Take note that area is equal to length times width, but according to the problem, it is equal to 84 square meters. Also, our perimeter is equal to 2 length plus 2 width, which is equal to 38 meters. So, if I'll divide both sides of the equation by 2, so I'll come up with length plus width is equal to 19. Also, we can think of length times width is equal to 84, and length plus width is equal to 19 as the equations representing the product and sum of the roots, respectively of quadratic equation. Remember that if the sum and the product of the roots of the quadratic equation are given, the roots can be determined. This can be done by using the equation x squared plus b over a x plus c over a is equal to 0, wherein negative b over a is the sum of the roots and c over a is the product. Let negative b over a is equal to 19. And if I multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1, so I'll come up with b over a is equal to negative 19. Similarly, c over a is equal to 84. Alright, to solve this one, so let's equate x squared plus b over ax plus c over a is equal to 0. So substitute the sum and the product of the roots. So we come up with x squared minus 19x plus 84 is equal to 0. Now to solve this, I'll apply okay, the factoring method that we have learned from the previous lessons. So I have here x minus 12 times x minus 7 is equal to 0. Okay, by inspection, negative 12 times x is negative 12x, while x times negative 7 will give us negative 7. If I add negative 12x plus negative 7x, we have negative 19x. So therefore, these are the factors of the quadratic trinomial x squared minus 19x plus 84 is equal to 0. Applying the zero property, I have now x minus 12 is equal to 0. So if I add both sides of the equation by 12, so x is equal to 12. On the other hand, x minus 7 is equal to 0. So add both sides by 7, so x is equal to 7. So we can say that if the length is 12, the width is equal to 7. On the other hand, if the length is 7, the width is equal to 12. To verify if our answer is correct or not, so let's do the checking. Recall that area is equal to length times width, so which is actually 84 based from the problem. So we have 12 times 7, is it equal to 84? So 84 is equal to 84. Also, the perimeter is equal to 2 length plus 2 width, is equal to 38 based from the given. So 2 times 12 plus 2 times 7 is it equal to 38. So 24 plus 14 is equal to 38. So therefore, 38 is equal to 38. Thus, 
So the length of the garden is 12 meters and its width is equal to 7 meters. Let us now consider the second problem. The length of a rectangle is greater than its width by 3 meters. If its area be 10 square meters, find the perimeter. Okay, so let's identify what is being asked in the problem. So it states that, what is the perimeter of the triangle? Next, so this is our illustration such that we have x is equal to the width while our length is equal to x plus 3. Next, so recall that area is equal to length times width. So to equate that, we will substitute the value of the length and the width. So we have x plus 3 times x. But take note that the area is equal to 10. So we have our equation 10 is equal to x plus 3 plus x. Now if I'll distribute the x here, okay, the expression x plus 2, so I have now here 10 is equal to x squared plus 3x. Now, if I'll subtract both sides of the equation by 10, so I have here 0 is equal to x squared plus 3x minus 10. Now, applying what we have learned in factoring a uh, quadratic trinomial, so this is equal to 0 is equal to x plus 5 times x minus 2. Okay. So, applying the zero property, x plus 5 is equal to 0, so x is equal to negative 5. On the other hand, x minus 2 is equal to 0, so x is equal to 2. Alright, from our solution a while ago that x is equal to negative 5 and x is equal to positive 2. But x is equal to negative 5 is not acceptable since width cannot be negative. We call this root as extraneous root. An extraneous root is to be rejected. Okay? So, from our representation, width is equal to x, which is equal to 2 meters, while our length is equal to x plus 3, and substitute the value of x, which is equal to 2. So, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. So, it means that our length is equal to 5 meters. Now, to check whether our answer or not, by inspection, so length times width, okay, is equal to your area. But length is equal to 5 times 2, is it equal to 10? So 10 is equal to 10. Also, that 5 is 3 more than 2. So, to find our perimeter, so perimeter is equal to 2 length plus 2 width. So substitute the value of the length and the width respectively. So we have 2 times 5 is equal to 10, and 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So the perimeter is equal to 14. So therefore, our answer is the perimeter is equal to 14 meters. Let us have the third question. So the sum of two numbers is 12, and their product is 35. What are the two numbers? Let us identify what is being asked in the problem. Okay, what are the two numbers? We want to find out the two numbers. So, we will let represent x is equal to the first number, while the second number is equal to 12 minus x. Now, if we will substitute the first and the second number respectively, so I have here x times 12, minus x is equal to 35 since this is equal to the product of the first and the second number. Now, if I'll distribute x to 12 minus x, I'll have now my equation 12x minus x squared is equal to 35. Okay? If I'll move 12x minus x squared on the other side of the equation, so I have here 0 is equal to x squared minus 12x plus 35 applying addition property of equality. Then, I'll factor. This is a quadratic trinomial. So, the factors are x minus 7 times x minus 5. Now, to solve okay, x minus 7, which is equal to 0, applying the 0 property, 
So x is equal to 7. On the other hand, if I have here x minus 5 is equal to 0. If I add both sides of the equation by 5, so x is equal to 5. Now, we found out that the value of x is equal to 7 and also x is equal to 5. Since we are only looking for two numbers, both truths are actually accepted. So we can say that the first number is equal to 7, while the second number is 12 minus x is equal to 5. On the other hand, if x is equal to 5, so we can say the first number is 5 and the second number is 12. Okay, if we will check this, since the first number is 7 and the second number is 5, so 7 plus 5 is it equal to 12? So we can say that 12 is equal to 12. That's correct. Also, 7 times 5 is it equal to 35? So 35 is equal to 35. On the other hand, if I'll use, okay, 5 as the first number and 7 as the second number, so is 5 plus 7 is equal to 12? So 12 equals 12. Also, 5 times 7 is equal to 35. Okay, so we can say 35 is equal to 35. So our answer is, or the numbers are 7 and 5. To summarize our discussion in solving board problems involving quadratic equations, we have number one, identify what is being asked in the problem. Next, represent variables related to the given. Third one, equate based on related formula in the problem. Fourth is solve applying techniques and solving quadratic equations. Fifth one is check for extraneous solutions. Then finally, write your answer in an organized manner. So thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications about my new videos.